I am the Duffy Wall, and in this video I will be showing off some of the most insane inventions, creations, and build projects players have created using the Create mod. And some of these builds will just blow your mind. Starting off with the fellow YouTuber Shaos, who actually has a whole channel dedicated to amazing Create mod creations that you should totally go check out. This time he's actually made a rotating hallway, and uh, the cool thing about it is you can actually control the speed. So uh, he maxed it out. God, I'm going to be sick just watching this. A player by the name of The Best Limey created his own claw machine with the help of the Immersive Portal mod. And now that I think about it, I should probably make a video dedicated to the Immersive Portals mod as well. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. But yeah, this is actually insane. And I would play it all day and still win nothing. Ah, uh, here we go. Back to something a bit more my speed. The Konesler has created a giant walking chicken. And you would not want to mess with this guy because he could literally crush your house. We featured this on my recent Daily Dose of Minecraft episode, but I thought it would make sense to feature it here too, since it is obviously a great mod creation. Shawnee is showing us his Fallout 3 mechanical doors, and the animation is just so smooth. One simple G decided he would make himself a machine that builds a highway for him. And this is the very definition of work smart, not hard. This is what restarting an ancient geothermal plant looks like, created by lost drowning in air. Ripster Dandy recreated Portal 2's vault door in Minecraft. Yeah, we're going to feature a lot of cool and smooth doors in this. It seems to be what people gravitate towards. Ah, uh, someone's accidentally activated the mechanism in my house. And this has to be one of the coolest builds I've ever seen. It literally transformed into a new build. How it's made intro, but in Minecraft. Tobias Scooper has made a cluster truck map and it looks a lot of fun to play. Cloney Hags has created this 5x5x5 machine that will automatically create cakes. It literally handles every single aspect of the process from the milk, wheat, eggs and other liquids you can get your hands on. This machine literally handles the entire process. It even produces its own energy to run, now that's what you call efficient. I imagine it took a lot of time to design but not much to build. Now let's move on to an actual cake factory, created by Cube. The thing I love about this one is just it's so aesthetically pleasing. Well, that's if you ignore the fact that there's a hundred chickens forced in the walls. Yeah, if you ignore that part, it looks kinda cool. A player by the name of Just a Penguin, and he's nothing else guys, don't look into it, has had enough of steampunk and wants to elevate his travel to the future. So he has created this working monorail system. Unfortunately for me, it makes my minecart track that I used to go down to my mine look like trash. Waltz of the Sheep, created by Portal Hub. Mm -hmm. 
This player created a working subway system for his city, and overall it works really well, but he said there were some little bugs with it. For example, apparently when it turns every so often, there's a slight chance you're going to get kicked out of it, which isn't ideal. Although it's still better than the train systems we have here in the UK. From trains to roller coasters, it's a natural progression. David Jones J14 has been having a lot of fun with the mod recently and it shows. How can you not have fun with this mod when there's literally these things to play with? This is what parkour would look like with mods. Sleeper Pin has made this working Rubik's Cube that actually solves itself, and I think with that we've peaked as a humanity. He clarifies in his post that it does actually attempt to solve the Rubik's Cube and it typically takes around 150 moves. The whole thing took around 50 to 60 hours to build, so it was a pretty long project. And he was also nice enough to provide you a download link, which I'll put in the description if you're interested. You'll obviously need the create mod for it to work though. Polarar TT1 has made working planes, cars, and even boats. Is there anything this mod can't do? And I'm just so impressed by this. I would love to be on that boat as well. This is Spamton Neophyte from Deltarune, created by Ekra and his 9 year old neighbour. The create mod can also be used to make some beautiful music, and here are a few of Tonesta's experiments. Engine Y has actually made this awesome old warplane, and the comments section on this post went a little crazy. Big Breast Monasseur, interesting name, we'll, we'll brush over it, has created this awesome hidden entrance. Now that's an entrance I can get behind. Now this is epic. Oh man. Brommentium1, hopefully I said that correctly, has created this 3D printer, but it's a little sus. In 
Enjoy this teaser for the future create mod update, everyone is so hyped about this. YouTuber Mac RMX created this heavy railway gun, and it does a lot, and I mean a lot of damage. This has given me Avatar Korra flashbacks. If you know, you know. Mr. Squirrel D Duck has recreated a Wipeout esque obstacle course. And I wonder how many times I've said create mod in this video, hopefully, not too many to annoy you guys. It's really hard not to say that word. But hey, if you're still listening, hello, and you must have enjoyed it, right? So please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to never miss a video. You two think you'll enjoy the video on screen now, and I do too. You'll definitely enjoy it, so give it a click. And as always, thank you for watching.